Okay, so everything is painted. Uh, all the panels and everything that I can see have uh, got everything they need. This is boxcar. I can't really see the lighting's bad. Sorry about that. The yeah, that's that's boxcar in the middle there over the SP Scarlet. Rust at the top. All the panels are rust. <coughs> um, the guns are installed in the uh, in the correct places. Um, I've just got to add the extra pilot, and that's done. But I can. It sounds strange, but I can do the next stage by just getting the kit together and then misting. So I'll be using foundation as a mist, the enamel, but that's okay. Enamel going over acrylic is fine. Um, oh, hang on, yeah, just gotta. I've got to do the blast marks and some slight sloppy sort of SP lark, really loose. Thin down, dark SP lark, um, sort of uh, bl not blast marks, but just sort of general dirtying up and, and weathering around the back of the cockpit. I think there's some there's some uh, some grey going on right around here. There's some splotches and just general sort of spider webby pushing the sort of wash of um, SP lark around, and then the uh, final misting over the top. Um, but you know, I want to give thanks to to Guy Cohen, Lee Ralph, um, Craig Lee, all these people that have, that have helped me along the way. Has been really helpful. I know. I mean, I know I've done one of these before, so it's not like you, th you think you know you should know it all, but you, you don't. You forget all this, and when you start chatting to people, um, you know they 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 give you such helpful tips. And that's what we're here for. This whole hobby is just to help each other out. It's. Um, it's not who can paint the best or who can build the fastest or who can post the most. It's just about enjoying the hobby and just having fun. And I know this is for a customer and he's a good friend of mine and um, I've done other bits and pieces for him, but this is a job, but it's also it's fun as well. Um, I don't usually take on this many commissions because I've, I've got a busy life and full-time job and children and that sort of thing. And I, I haven't got time to fill it all in, but certain jobs and people and that sort of thing that especially... I don't like posting abroad, for example, they end up getting broken and that sort of thing, but just keeping it within the UK and Europe and that sort of thing. And, I, and if I've got time, I'll do it. I'll do the jobs. But um, working on a kit like this that's been made beautifully really helps. And, um, and having guys um, and friends that can help me throughout this process makes it all worthwhile. And it's just all about having fun. So after that lot of waffle, I'll get on and, um, and finish this up. Thanks for looking, guys. Okay, so we have it sitting now um, with the uh, SP Lark Dark sort of misty, washy sort of um, tones on all down here where the where the cannon is. That's all been given some blast marks, some streaks, you can see. And then there's kind of like um, some sort of like wash sort of spray at the back there. Um, not much, there's not a huge amount of dirty weathering going on. There, there is there, all around here there's some stuff going on. But um, I'm hoping with the final mist coat that will um, really tie it all together. But I'm happy with how that looks at the moment. Okay, so I've just given it a mist uh, foundation. And um, yes, it sort of it mutes it all down. It gives it that um, sort of... Um, really matte looking sort of subtle change in appearance but uh, yeah it's um, it's not over dramatic you don't have to really go too heavy I mean where, where it's difficult to tell I mean that's the that's the idea it's it's difficult to see it but it's there <laughs> Um, and it just changes. My lighting today is horrible, so apologies for that. But um, yeah, that's how she's looking. So really, it is just a case now of buttoning it up, putting it on the new base, getting the pilots installed. Oh, one thing. Um, Lorne Peterson um, said on one of his... Um, 
behind the scenes, I think it was the on the collection on the Blu-ray, Star Wars Blu-ray uh, collection. He said that uh, they to kill the reflection on screen when the models appeared too sort of reflective or. Um, well, I know when they were filming the cloud car, there was, there was lights underneath and on top, but um, that would create issues with... I mean, that's why they didn't have the um, canopy glass in the frames, because you'd see the reflection and it would kill the blue screen and all that sort of thing. So he would apply a talcum powder with um, sort of like a, a wide brush, and he'd go up, literally, while the model was on a mount being filmed, he'd just give it, give it a quick... Uh, rub down with um, talcum powder and that would give the um, that would kill all the sheen all the satin all the gloss anything like that would just mat down completely and give it that dusty sort of look um, so to uh, sort of um, go to that end I've, uh, I've used a little bit of um, Art, uh, um, AK Interactive European Earth pigments just around the I don't know if you can see it there just around there. So you literally go in, dust it up, and you just get a very powdery sort of um, look. If you don't like it, wipe it away with your finger. It's as simple as that. Now, ILM didn't use this. <laughs> and it's just another little cheap thing that I've decided to do. I spoke to the, the client and he was like, mm, I don't want it too heavy. I just want it misted. I was like, fair enough, okay. So I, that one little area, I thought I'd just try it, and and I've done it on the tops here. Um, you know, I'm like, I like to have the model looking like it's been sitting in the archive collecting dust, and if you can buy dust in a pot, <laughs> here it is, um, and you can just literally powder that on, and give it that sort of um, aged. Look, so um, my excuse is that Lorne Peterson did use talcum powder on the models. He said so on the uh, <laughs> on the behind the scenes. So um, if it looks crap, it's Lorne's fault. <laughs> but uh, no, it's just another little fun thing that I thought I'd add to it. Again, it's not wheat with the airbrush. It's just something a bit of fun. But as I say, yeah, just put the new... Uh, I've got the 10mm thick acrylic base for it now, so I'll stick that on and get the other pilot in and that'll be job done. Rather than talk about this um, uh, wonderful talcum powdery <laughs> cheat. I thought I'd just do it and show it to you in real time. So I've just literally poured a little bit of this powder pigment into the lid here. And you just rub the brush. This is the best way to kill a brush as well, using these pigments. Use an old brush for it. And literally just... Um, attack the inside and just build it up all around the edges and that's it give it a blow and you can rub most of it away with your finger And there you have one dusty looking cloud car that's been sitting in the archives for 40 years. <laughs> you can go in with a Q-tip or cotton bud in inside and just clean it up a little bit. I'll, I'll feather it out more than that, but that gives you an idea. Okay. Okay, so um, it's finished. I've got it on the, um, on the 10 mil thick acrylic base. I've got the support rod um, glossed black. Um, Everything fitted perfectly. Again, you can't fault this kit. One or two little hiccups because it's, I mean, it's resin. All kits you have those problems with. But, um, yeah, that it is, it's um, turned out really well and I'm really happy with it. So, um, it's going to be hard to put this one in the post. <laughs> but, uh, no, I've really enjoyed this one. It's been a, it's, it's been a really... Um, fun process and I'm um, I'm thrilled that people have enjoyed watching me make it so um, yeah th there we go that's uh, Lass Henning's Studio Scale Cloud Car finished in Archive X 
acrylics and a few enamels here and there. So um, yeah, that's going to be packed up and sent off to um, my client uh, um, possibly next week now because it's going to be the weekend now. So I haven't got time, but um, yeah, that'll be boxed up and sent off. Underneath is a um, I can't remember which panel it is now, but the uh, underside panel is um, held on with magnets and you can um, unclip that and then turn it on and off. Um, I think it's, what is it? I can't remember now, one of those two. But um, yeah, really happy with how that's turned out. So thank you for watching guys. I appreciate all the kind words as always and uh, see you on the next one.